some kind of vibration noise that I need to fix. So this is how I fix that really loud vibration. Uh, this is 50 feet of coiled up nylon high pressure mist tubing. Before, I just had my nylon tube come straight out and come over and connect into my hard line. But the, what a pump is doing is it's not a smooth flow. So there's, there's actually a stroke that's happening. And so it's actually pulsing out water. And what you're doing by adding this long uh, coiled up tube is it's actually, you're creating a large volume of water that that is pushing against. So it's almost dampening it. And so by the time it goes through this 50 feet, it's flowing out nice and smooth. And so when you get to these areas where the tubing is constrained, that is it, it, the tube can't move. So like think this hard line tube, it's, it's attached to the roof. It's hard, it doesn't want to move. It's not going to vibrate because by this point, the water is going to be flowing smoothly. So where it goes into the, into the tube, you can think it's, it's kind of uh, pulsing. And then by the time it gets to the end, it's much more smooth because all the water in that line is sort of dampening those vibrations. So I asked the guy at the store, he said, this is how they fix it. They always recommend 50 feet. I asked him, do you really need 50? That seems like a lot. He said, yes, 50. And it solved the problem completely. The vibration is totally gone. So if you're having that issue, you can try that. Uh, I don't think this is necessary if your pump is far away from where your mist heads are because you get the same sort of effect. So if I had my pump over on my side yard and I ran that tube all the way along here and up the wall, uh, that would be a long enough distance that that shouldn't be an issue. But uh, you may just have to troubleshoot for yourself, you know, try it out. If you are having the issue, you might need to add some additional tube to prevent that vibration.